Hi, my name is Martin Ainsworth, and in this light bike tutorial, I'd like to talk about content aware fill and the patch tool. Now, I realized after having a long conversation with a friend just this morning that there are still people who use Photoshop who are unaware of the power of the patch tool, but also the hidden power of the content aware fill tool. But there are a few things that we need to be aware of uh, when we're choosing the tool and when we're uh, editing pictures. The first thing is, how busy is my picture? Now I've lined up three pictures. In this first picture we've got a lot of green and brown. In the second picture we've got some very good empty spaces and some people milling around. And in the third picture we've got a lot of snow and a bench. So I wanted to demonstrate what could be done. Now in this first picture I want to remove this bench. So if I go across to the patch tool and I take the patch tool and I draw around the area that I want to change and then I click and drag it to an area that I want to replace I take the information from and click and drag and remove my mouse so it can quickly process so we can see well, that's pretty good I quite like that if I go back to the image and then I draw with the lasso tool around the object very roughly there and go edit fill and use content aware then you'll see as it draws information from around the outside of the image to fill that it draws in bits of the trees that we don't necessarily want so in this situation the patch tool is a good tool to use nipping across to the uh, park like picture if I grab with the selection lasso tool this great big park bench and then hit the edit and fill and use content aware you'll see that because this image is uh, has a lot more available space around the outside of the image it will perform a lot better so there we can see actually it's done a pretty good job of removing the park bench using the fill content aware and if I drag around this nice muddy puddle over here and around the outside you'll see that if I then edit fill content aware but again it does a pretty good job it kind of you know we might not want that around the outside there but in essence what it's done is it's taken out that muddy puddle and just filled the content just there now in this third picture you'll see we've got an awful lot of snow so if I wanted to use the lasso tool and I wanted to select around the park bench we get a very different result here so using content aware and delete you'll see all of a sudden it replaces it with information from the tree and that's quite interesting so to get the bench out of the way in a picture like this we would have to do something very different we would actually have to use the patch tool to draw around the outside of our bench and then go and find an area that we want to take the information from we would then have to spend time rebuilding the lamppost down there or if we're feeling really clever and we want to be a bit mysterious we can actually remove this altogether so we can just have our glowing light in the air so there are many different ways in which we can use the patch tool and the content aware fill but it's just being aware of when you come to use your image which is the best option for you my name is Martin Ainsworth and that was a very quick light bite introduction into how to use content aware fill to replace items and to use the patch tool to patch over items within Photoshop. Thank you very much.